continue on our journey tonight. Hopefully we make good progress like we did yesterday. And uh, I do thank you for those that tuned in last time. And hopefully you're able to join me tonight. Because we're going to dive a little deeper. I think we have to compete in uh, a little like junior trainer event or something like that. If I remember everything from last time. Because uh, we got the bell last time. We stuffed it in the hole. It uh, blew up. And uh, then once we came up here, they said that they were having some type of tournament for young trainers, uh, is basically how they put it. So we're going to try and compete in that. Um, I might... let me see what my hit points are for all my dudes, because I may rearrange them. Alright, Axel is third in line. He has the lowest health. So... I think we're good. Um, as far as the new guy that we got last time... Duff we've had, he's been uh, wrecking some face. He's got 49 attack. We got uh, Ganja last time, a uh, boss that we fight. Uh, their guy decided to join our team. Which, uh, he is has a speed buff as well as he, a defensive buff so one defense uh, is almost like double the defense of some of my other guides this guy does have 48 defense versus like this dragon is 29 this guy's 21 their defense isn't all that great but with him once we get a certain level um, his defense up ability will become, in, I believe it's called Increase, which will, when he uses it, it will defense buff everybody that's in the party. So he'll be really useful as like a support class style, and he's got decent attack as well. So good for farming. So they did say we could visit the library if we wanted to figure out more about the game. Um, we have unlocked this area, which is like the egg place, but we can't get into it yet. And what's up here? Because this wasn't open. So we have something with the key. We also have, looks like a library. Monsters hate being away from their master. They can turn rebellious out of sadness, try to understand. Okay. Let's see if there's anything. So yeah, it looks like this is a library of sort. So there's catalogs on monsters and breeds and things like that. Also, individual species. Alright. Yes, we understand what warping done. We've done the warping before. Welcome to the library. You may check your catalog here. So this is what we've currently collected, I guess. Okay, so we've gotten a couple bugs, a couple slimes, and a dragon, and I think this is like a material class, which is probably our lamp. So let's look at the dragon. Oh no, these are bugs. Dragon is here. So this is the guy that we have. So we have unknown as far as the two two things that we could breed to get this guy but it looks like he can do stop spell he can do poison hit and 
Whatever B Dragon is. I don't know if he already learned those or not. Let's see if we can find out. I thought he only had Stop Spell. Yes, yeah, so he currently only has Stop Spell, which I believe it will upgrade as well, since they all have tiers, and the next one hits uh, Stop Spell on everybody, so it's a silence. So he might be useful. Duff just has, I think, the monster beast cut, yeah. So, which is effective against beasts. And then our lamp has upper and speed up. So, upper is a defense up move, and speed up is, I think, agility. Yeah, I did uh, end up getting on early, Brian. Um, she has watch tonight. So, uh,. Try to make uh, some more progress in this game. I had a lot of fun last night. Unfortunately, have to get up for work, so I couldn't continue. But I would have played a lot longer. I, I really do enjoy this game. But we're getting ready to do the tournament. Um. Yeah, you were with me. Got the lamp last night. Um, we're using our worm as well as Axel. Which I think we're high enough of a level to, to take this on. So I think I may go try and find it. Not sure what this key place is. Got a key shop. I appraise and identify keys. I don't know if this costs money. Oh, it's appraised already. Hmm. So I guess if you get a mystery key or something. Who knows? We'll figure it out later. This looks like our tournament area. Monster Arena. Downstairs. May as well look around everywhere else as well. Might be something. Well, you're a mighty lively kid. Let me tell you something. Do you know about tiny metals? They can't they can't be sold, but they can be traded to a collector. You should store them in the vault. Alright. I did find one of those. Gotta find the vault and store it, I guess. So they're just telling us to look in the vases. And there's a tiny metal. Pack properly if you're going off to another world. Some have never returned. Oh, doom and gloom. So he doesn't want to listen to the prankster. Which it doesn't seem like anybody does. His dad's a famous monster master. I'm going to be just like him. Try the slide, it's a shortcut. Hey, let me ask you something. Did you see the woman next door? No. Good, you're lucky. Stay away, that... that's the thing. Alright, apparently he doesn't like the girl next door. Go see what she is all about. Did you know that there's a place for changing monsters' name? No, I didn't. Go visit the christener. She's a lovely lady. 
is not anything like that <laughs> creep who lives next door. Alright, so they both don't like each other. I'm gonna go try and deposit my tiny metals, I guess. I don't know if they disappear when you die or what the point of it is. Alright, let's deposit. We did find this bookmark too. So we have a tiny metal. We do have two of them. But other than that, we don't have much. I don't have much gold on me either. So we'll just keep that. Go ahead and save it. I think I saved it. Yeah. So we've got almost four hours logged in the game so far. These look like little monsters. All kinds of meat, beef jerky, beef jerky, pork chop, rib, and then there's sirloin. Sirloin is the ultimate. So tender and heavenly tasty. If you eat any bad meat like me, you'll get poisoned. Alright. Lost again. I need to train my monsters a lot more to win. I'll have to go back to a world I've already finished and raise their levels some more. There might be something new for me to discover, who knows? So it sounds like he does want us to visit the previous world and train, but I may see how we do. If we get stomped into the ground, then we'll go train some more. You need luck on your side to win at the arena. Put another way, you could win just by getting lucky. Which to take? Monsters you've raised, or those you befriended? Listen, this is a secret. There's a man who trades tiny metals for impressive gifts. Okay. If you want to enter, please register with the girl next to me. Welcome to the arena. Masters pit their teams in battle to test their power. Will you enter? Yes. You're young, so you have to start in the kids' class, but don't scoff. You'll lose if you're complacent. Here are the arena rules. So we can't use any items. And you forfeit if you flee. Win three battles to take the title. The pirate key is the prize. And that's what we're mainly after, is that pirate key to get to the next next area. Alright, we have a special team with us. Master Terra and the farm friends. Battle one, ready, go. Alright, so this is kind of the first organized battle. Um, let's go ahead and plan. Duff will charge. Uh, Ganja. We'll do mixed. And Axel will do mixed. Since they both have some spells that are more defensive. So there we've silenced a couple of them. Well, we may ha might have to change them because they, sh they aren't attacking too much. I 
and I'm wasting a lot of magic. <laughs> so I may not have magic for the next uh, the next thing. So let's go plan charge, charge, and charge. So we may have to be a little conservative on our mana in this next one. But so far it looks like our health is decent. Can't really tell what style these guys are. So the first one we'll go plan, we'll do one charge with Duff, we'll do a mixed and a mixed, and then we'll switch it the next time around. So we got a couple stop spells off. Alright, and now we charge. So we're only taking two damage instead of maybe like four or something like that since we're buffing our guys up beforehand. <laughs> the guy's name is Eggplant. What a wonderful monster. So we're still good. Taking these guys out pretty good. Probably the the next one that'll be a little crazy. The challenger wins battle two. Guy has a couple of birds and whatever that thing in the middle is. Final battle. Let's go fight. Oh, I should have should have done something different. So this guy charge do mix mix. I already took out one. Got us got the spell cast out, which is good. Alright. Now we can just kinda go all out. I think we can knock him down. Alright, crit. So far so good. Looks like we had enough levels from taking a few wrong routes last time. So everything was easy. Didn't even lose anybody. So now we will have our pirate key. What an impressive debut. I do like the the cheering noise. That's a that's a pretty good cheering noise. Alright, congrat congratulations, you did it. You've won the kids class. The king will give you his official recogni recognition as a monster master. You can use the Starry Shrine and the Egg Evaluator services now. You'll be facing grown-ups here from now on, so keep training hard. Here's your prize, the Pirate Key. I'm guessing that's going to teleport us to a pirate ship of some sort, or it might be a pirate land. Alright, welcome back. Alright, we have the Pirate Key. So we can go insert that into uh, the shrine or whatever, and we'll go fight some, some pirates, I suppose. Um, probably need to heal as well. Nope, looks like my guys are healed back up, so we can just go right after it. Let's see what's down here. Is that the exit? No? It's a completely different area. Hello there. Do you know about the Starry Night Tournament? I do not. Starry Night Tournament is held 
on the night of a meteor shower that arrives on every 47th full moon. On that night, masters gather from all over the world to battle. The winner is said to bring great happiness to the kingdom. Might be some type of crazy tournament at the end of this. The arena is where masters can test their metal against others. Battles between tough masters are intense to see, let me tell you. The S class is especially hot. So it looks like after we go through each world, um, we're going to have to kind of fight our way through the different classes, it seems. My husband is a master still. He may be old, but he has knowledge that the young people don't. Monsters can grow only so much. They won't level up after that. So we have a level cap based on different monsters. I'm guessing the stronger monsters will have a a higher level cap so that you can get more stats. I know I looked at some things before I started playing, and I believe my little worm guy can only get to 35. And the lamp is like 40, and I think my little dragon's 35 as well. We are the kids' cla class champ. Want to hear something good? Sure. In the C class, finally you'll be facing Hammerman and Stubsuck. <laughs> that's a that's a unique name. Hammerman uses heal, so you should knock it out first. Okay. So the hammer guy uses some type of heal. I come to watch every day. The masters are getting tougher. Monsters mirror their master, they plans you give in battle. Gradually change personality. Not easy to win, right? Take note of your opponents and put together a winning team and strategy. That doesn't seem like there'll be too much that will lead us to the next place. I think we just have to use the key. What is this guy? <laughs> Hungry, delicious! Looks like he's a beast of some type. What do you suppose monsters are thinking? I can never tell. It bothers me when they stare. Do you consider me to be food? Well, he was staring at me and saying hungry. Listen, to win you'll need balance. Attack, support, and heal. These three roles should be your assigned to your monsters in a balanced manner. That's the recipe for victory. We've got a support class, or kind of two support classes and a damage class. So we still need to find some type of healing. Arr, my blood burns. He's like a vampire or something. I can taste the glory of battle. Give them lots of tasty meat. Alright, I think we are ready to head out. Kind of spam through these guys' chat a little bit. Yes, we already know that. Okay, if we win, we get a magic key. Get it appraised at the key shop to use it. Okay, so this tells us to go to the key shop, and we'll have to appraise our new key. Which I believe was out here and up. Hopefully they don't charge us for this. We don't have too much money, and we don't get money from combat either. Welcome to my key shop. Should I praise? Yes. Which key? 
Go for the pirate one. It's already been appraised. Alright. So they give you a couple freebies, it looks like. So, let's go ahead and save it. And we'll go to the, the great pirate ship. Oasis got the star next to it after we beat that area. I guess that's what you can, if you can't figure one out, you might be able to go to the next. I'm not sure. Terra inserted the key. Off to talk, talk like a pirate we are. Random new territory, so we may see if we can get some some new guys or something. And kind of see what's around. We can surf now. Um, I think that's what the bell gave us, the ability to get on the seashell and kind of head out and see what's around. I don't know how far we can go, but... Definitely could probably get lost. Oh, we got some water dudes. Wow. <laughs> These guys are strong. Okay, I can turn it down a little bit. This isn't, like, a, a crazy game. So, let me bump this down a little bit. Let me know how it is. There we go. So it is changed now. Hopefully that helps with your, your buffering and whatnot. So we're going to need to use a item to heal because Duff just got pushed into the ground. I don't know if we can win this one or not. Let's no. I didn't want to flee. Alright. So we want this guy to do a mix. Is it jumping around? I think it should be alright. Oh, yours has been jumping around. Axel, let's do a mixed. Alright, so we have those guys where they're they can't use their spells so let's do a plan again we'll do everybody all out wonder why my one dude isn't attacking we do need to heal these guys are a lot worse than what I thought. Go with the lamp. So Duff can charge. We want mixed. Axel's not dead, but he certainly... <laughs> Pumping. All right. So let's see. Go ahead and try to attack some things. 
So Duff is now dead. These guys are rough. hit me for 28 damage. Alright, we got one <laughs> out of the way, so hopefully it'll be a little bit better. So, note to self, don't go in the water. Oh, nice, got a crit. So let's plan. Let's have. Let's do a command. Skill. We want upper. So I can choose. Axel takes a lot more damage, so let's put it on him. And we can do command as well. Do a stop spell. Alright, I think this is our last herb. Now we got two more. Ooh, <laughs> we made it, but we're gonna have to go heal or something and not go in the water. We got 202 experience points for that. That is a lot. Alright, our upper is now increased, so every time we use that, it boosts the defense of every every person in our team. Alright, he got a second level out of that. Axel also leveled up. Too bad uh, Duff didn't get any of that experience. So as I lowered it about... 700 um, as far as uh, the bit rate. Did that help you at all? Alright, so we are going to stay out of the water. Hopefully we can get back to the mainland without a battle. And as you can see we are now toting around our beloved worm in a casket. So we need to go back to Great Log. Okay. Yeah, I don't need it that high for this game, but it helps the the camera out as far as looking grainy and whatnot. Alright, I think that gets everybody up. So we could try and do that again. I mean we can take it but we got some crazy experience from that water. It'd be awesome to get one of those guys, but I doubt... Alright, so yes, everybody is leveled. Um, we need to sort these guys. Where is it? Reorder. So we want... Go Duff first, this guy, and Axel. And we'll go ahead and save it. But yeah, that, that battle was no joke. I was not expecting to almost be murdered first thing. <laughs> but I would like to get some of those guys. But we'll stick to stick to the land, and <laughs> it'll probably go a little bit better for us. But I definitely don't think I was supposed to to win that battle. We 
because the last boss that we fought only gave us 100 experience, and that battle gave us like 200 and something. We'll go ahead and keep these on charge. Because I think I can zerg through all these guys. Yeah, as you can see, that is what we're supposed to be fighting. <laughs> so we got 15 experience rather than the 200 and something that we got out there. So this looks like our first town. Let's see, I'm sure they have something they need solved. This is the village of Yold. We're known for our fresh fish. All right. Around these parts, it's faster to travel by boat than walking. So everyone has their own boat. In the olden days, it was dangerous because there were pirates. Well, I think there are still pirates. In the northwest is a village that is famous for mermaids. He doesn't have much, but uh, you care to see my wares. What does he have? We have some herbs, which we... Let's go ahead and get a couple of these. Not 11. Go ahead and get three. And then we can probably farm up some more of it. There's love water, which our guys don't have that much health yet. Antidote. Awakening. Got some pork chops, but pork chops are really expensive. Guess these guys are the old people. The birds are noisy. It's a sign that a quake will hit. So I think we're going to have to solve whatever that is. See? What did I just say? volcanic island off the coast appears to be in a bad mood. There have been many quakes. The fish aren't biting at all. So we are going to have to do something about the volcano. Mermaids live in the seas in the northwest among their treasures. Was a round mirror called the Har. Ah, pirate land. It's the Har mirror. But it was stolen by pirates. Nobody knows where it is now. So that's what we're after, is a mirror. I saw a haunted ship in the north. It scared me so much, I can't get out of bed. So, ship in the north, mermaid village northwest, volcano in the middle. Guess we'll try going to this other village. Keep an eye out for maybe some extra herbs and stuff sitting around. Ooh, one of those bat guys would be cool. Well, the army ant is not very strong. <laughs> the bat is named... his name was Draki. <laughs> You'd best be set. Har har har. I'd like to get a couple of these monsters to see if they might be better than than what I have. I need some type of healing class. This is the mermaid village. Lots of old people as well. Welcome to Polona. It's a tourist resort known for the mermaids in the area. I'm from the port in the northwest. 
I almost reached here when army ants and mad gophers jumped me. I managed to get away though. I'm glad I made it here safely. It's quiet and restful. Came from far away to see some mermaids, so everybody's old and is visiting this town just for the mermaids. And the mermaids aren't currently here because, I guess, volcanoes. Ah, this is heavenly. Makes me feel alive again. Relaxing here, all my troubles seem to melt away to in insignificance. So we got some dude playing some music. In the past, mermaids are said to have sang and danced with people. Where we stand now. Would you like to dance to remember? Why not? Let's see what kind of moves our monsters have. Oh, I didn't even change change the tune. Hey, what's up? We're just uh, slaying some monsters and trying to get some progress in this game. But I played about three hours yesterday and I really enjoyed it. If there were a monster that could lead the dance performance... Oh, pardon me. You are a novice. <laughs> Alright. Well, he said we are not good at dancing. But currently in this area, this is the pirate land. We are after the horror mirror to try to plug up the hole that we have. And there's a volcano exploding, there's pirates, all kinds of stuff. There are supposed to be a lot of mermaids, but they are currently gone. So just tourist pamphlets in these. Need some guidance from somebody on what they want me to do, though. You're not supposed to go near the cave in the west. It's on, on the cape. Water monsters live there. Mama said it's dangerous. Mama said not to go outside. Have you heard the legend about mermaids? No? Long ago, a deaf craftsman made a mirror with the power of darkness. It brought ruin to whatever its cold face reflected. Learning of this mirror the people grew frightened. They took the mirror from the craftsman. It was hurled into the sea. The craftsman, out of sorrow, leapt after the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> Mama said I'll knock you out. The mirror drifted to the lair of the mermaids, where it was kept under a secure seal as the Har mirror. And that's the tale. So we have to find the mermaids, which might be in that cave to the west. You can meet mermaids here in the past, but not anymore. Not since the pirates raided. And took their treasure. After that, the mermaids have kept away from people, out of fear. It's a shame. They were decent. Decent sorts who like to dance and sing. I think they said there is the pirate ship in the north as well. It was funny, my, my first battle here I decided to see if there was anything in the water. And needless to say, they almost killed my entire party. I barely escaped by beating them and I ended up getting 200 and some experience. The normal experience rate is like 10 to 15 per battle. <laughs> so my guys got like two or three, I think it was two levels out of it. There is supposed to be some cave to the west of here. 
Hopefully I don't get attacked by the crazy monsters that got me last time. Alright, it's only one of them this time. That is... that is doable. I do not have any meat to feed it, so he is not going to be my friend. Might need to use the defense on this. Let's see. Let's go ahead and command. We want to use increase, which will give us defense to our whole party. So everybody has a little bit more health now, and our deaf guy is about to get murdered. As you can see, I fought three of these and actually won. <laughs> this is just one, and he's about to, to murder the first guy in my party. I might need to switch the Duff and Ganja around. But yeah, we got 34 experience for just him. So our snake has leveled up a little bit. Alright, here is some extra herb. Hey, some meat. Got some pork chops, which those are worth 40 gold a, a pop. Yeah, it would be a crazy grinding spot as long as you could execute it pretty well. I'm just kind of exploring now, trying to find different areas. I need to find some type of healer as well. I don't have a healer in my group. So I don't know which one of these guys. I guess I could throw a meat out and try and get one of these. Go item. Give him a pork chop. Let's go for... Let's do both of them. All right, it does do both. All right, we got 22 experience for that one. We did not get any of them though, unfortunately. Kind of scared to to venture out too far into that island. What is this? Ah, 140 gold. Looks like that's where we can get a little bit of money. Some type of bell. Let's go see what that is. It's nice to get that defense up at the beginning as long as I have mana. Which you can use it about 10 to 12 times. Ooh. We have uh, sleeping statuses now. We took most of them out though. got a couple level 10s and I believe we can breed these monsters at level 10 so once we unlock the breeding point all right so getting some HP a little bit a little bit of everything Exit bell, okay, so we can escape caves with that. Oh, 
But yeah, it looks like it does a percentage-based uh, defense buff. Seems like it's about a 50% increase or so. Definitely helps. Nice, 43 damage. That that crit damage is pretty crazy too. It's a it looks like a standard three across the board whenever he levels up. So there is a way up. Let's see what's to the right. Okay, that is a dead end. So we'll go up. Maybe if we beat these guys into submission enough, one of them will join our party. But I think as we go, it will get a little more difficult. Alright, we have a third town in this one. Port Ritz, where ships gather from all over the world. Pirates were swallowed by the sea after monsters overwhelmed them, but before they sank, they're said to have hidden their treasures. Which we need to eventually find somewhere. Oh yeah, Derek, I set you up on my auto, auto host as well, so I think I saw that it hosted you a couple times today. Seems like it does a, a decent job. So, something about giving a guy some alcohol and he'll give you a bunch of stories. His stories tend to be a bit preposterous. I don't trust him. But that's a little bit like the other place where they didn't trust the guy that was in jail. So we need to talk to the old guy at the tavern and maybe buy him a drink or two. <laughs> Wants to be kidnapped by pirates someday. Well, you have lofty goals, kid. Went to Polona, southwest of here, but never got to see any mermaids. I was looking forward to it too. Because the mermaids are no longer around, they hate people due to pirates. All sorts of people come here, from around the world. But a little kid with monsters, that's something you don't get to see too often, not even here. Like an item shop. Quality merchandise. He's got love water, because everybody needs a little bit of uh, love water. I, don't, I still don't think I can afford the rib and things like that. Seems like a bit much. I mean... I guess it, I guess it helps increase your health. Alright, we have a little bit of a cutscene, so I think we're on the right track. They look of the pirate sorts. Heh. <laughs> that old man. He was too grog to make any sense. Captain, sir, what do we do? Tch. <laughs> Made me waste my time. We'll come back for him later. Oh, it's the Prince Kamehameha guy. Yes, I am Terra the Farmer. Don't tell me you're looking for something to plug the navel. So, Waru Warubo asked you to, huh? But those monsters you're with, don't they look frail and wimpy? Look, I've already got two sidekicks. 
I'll find the plug before you. Come on, team, let's go. So this is the Douchebag Prince, which is kind of our rival in this uh, game. Apparently he decided to help on this one and try to find the mirror for himself. Heiner Hick Gens Goof. <laughs> Alright. Can we buy him some drinks and make him make sense? The old fellow there. The instant he smells a sea monster, he wakes. Even if he's tanked on Grog. That's a real sea dog, I say. Hmm. Wonder if we will have to get, uh... Yeah, Prince, Prince Oak. We may have to get some type of sea creature to make this guy wake up. The volcanic island off the coast is vicious to ships. It's a ring of shoals. Keep boats away. When that old man gets grogged, you can't move him with a crowbar. It's like he cast I iron eyes on himself. I'm guessing that's a move. What can we do about it? So we need to find a sea creature to wake this guy up. So I guess that means venturing into the sea. Let's go ahead and save it. Alright, so first thing to do is, I guess, stay close to shore and hopefully not get murdered by a bunch of sea creatures. We'll go get this plant. Hmm. There is another place. Guess we'll see if we get murdered here. Some type of creature. Step one, don't die. You are correct. As you can see, my one guy is almost dead. Oh yeah, I need to switch him and the lamp. The lamp has a higher defense and it should probably be out front. So let's go ahead and do that. So these guys seem to be a little strong too. They have an AoE type of move. So we may need to grind up a little bit. Which, this is where, I guess, RPG comes in. I don't know if I'm in the right spot. So we'll have to grind and hopefully not die. So let's go ahead and command. Let's do a defense. Okay, we're only taking one damage. So that's good. Except for that. That is a lot of damage. We'll have to try and silence them, maybe. Except I needed to use. The one that is not fight. So this guy, let's go ahead and do another defense up. Duff can charge. This guy needs to silence everybody. They are all unaffected, so looks like we'll just have to zerg them and heal a little bit. Let's go ahead and get Duff. 
That ice ball hurts. No, I wanted to heal. We get one more unlucky ice attack and the snake guy will be dead. I need to stop using the Diva head. We need to go heal after that. Where was it? To the south? Well, I guess I have some items I can heal with. Alright. I am running a little bit low. Need to find a healer type that will definitely help and save us on using all this. Alright, got some meat. Can throw the pork chop in the next battle and hopefully get something. Oh, these guys are interesting. Let's go ahead and, I guess, throw the meat. These guys are definitely a lot easier. <laughs> it's a, a good name for that guy. His name is Facer. Hey, and Facer would like to join our party. Alright, I got a name for this guy. He can do some headbanging in the mosh pit. Let's see if he has anything decent. Got really good attack. Defense is okay. He's already level 10. Got good agility and intellect. Infernos. I think that's a like an AoE fire type. So we will definitely take him. Let's get rid of maybe Duff. I don't know. We can get rid of Duff or Axel. What do you guys think? Get rid of the snake or the worm. The worm does level faster. I did want to see how much health this guy has. So he has 61, this guy 49, 61. So he might. Axel has a decent debuff. So he can. Silence people, which is good. So I may get rid of Duff. So he's 52, 24, and then 50, 50. I think this guy will maybe do a little bit better. I think the, his move... Yeah, we'll send Duff to the farm. Because Beast Cut is like single target, I think this guy will have like an AoE type move. Might help us out.
Alright, so now we got a new dude. Okay, nothing was that way. Kind of keep looking around here, so we've... Looks like we've gone far north. We may just need to... farm a little bit. Oh, I need to heal. The old lamp needs a little bit of... A little bit of love. Alright, now we're in decent shape. Okay, we've been to that town. Let's see what's up and over. Like nothing around here. So we're gonna have to find the cave. Because I, I think that's where the stuff is going to be hidden. Not necessarily that there are pirates around, but before they went down, they hid their treasure somewhere. So let's... I want to see if, uh... His thing is an AoE. Alright. Skill. So this uses two mana. He's got 41, so he can use it quite a bit. Oh, he ignored us, so we have to tame him a little bit better. Mosh will do whatever he wants to do. He ain't gonna listen to us. Alright, let's go ahead and switch their plans back around. Yeah, he wanted to join us, and he's like, I don't, I don't like uh, being told what to do. I'm my own man. Does whatever he wants to do. All right, now everybody's on full attack, and we'll let him do what he wants to do then. Nice, finally getting a little bit of money. Don't see anything up here, so maybe we'll go back down. We still need to try and maybe get a sea creature recruited somehow. We may have to buy some extra meat. And I have to remember where that guy's at. I think he was in the seaport town. So maybe we'll fight outside of there. So there was the Inferno, which did pretty good damage. Definitely need the... oh nice, maybe get another guy. Mad Gopher. Alright, who wants to name the Gopher with a Shovel? Digger? <laughs> God. <laughs> what about... <laughs> what about Dig? D-I-G-G. <laughs> Don't... Oh no, my internet's going... Going kaput. Looks like a bounce back.
We'll go. We'll go with dig. Dugger. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it PG thirteen. We'll call him Dig. Dig is correct. Let's see if he is even decent. What kind of stats we got. So he's level seven. So he's a little bit behind. 30s across the board, and his intellect is really high. Do you have any skills? Zombie cut. In case we go against zombies, that's not too useful. So I think we may send him back to the farm anyway. I think Axel silence is a little bit more useful. If we need him, we can always go back and get him. make my way back to that port town if my internet will not go crazy on me. And we'll kinda farm in this general area and try maybe capture some type of sea creature. Oh boy. This is not good. Let's see. We're going to have to do a lot of defense up with this guy and hopefully not get one shot. Let's go with increase. Let's try and get a silence out. There's stop spell. And Mosh can do whatever the hell Mosh wants to do. Alright, we got increase off. So we got two spells out, so they can't do their spells. Let's go ahead and do another increase. We need all the defense we can get. Do a couple charges. And Ganja. Ganja ignored me. Hmm. Let's see if we can get him to do increase this time. I got too many people wanting to disobey me. Don't get me killed. Nice, he does have an AoE. 20, 20. So yeah, that that head guy or the the mask will definitely be doing good for us. So let's go ahead and try one more increase. <laughs> You're not my real father. Alright. And we'll keep everybody else doing charges. That guy keeps doing a barrier. Alright, we got one down. <laughs> that is actually a rogue wave. I guess it makes sense. You're going to have to get a little bit more herbs to do the healing. Alright, not too bad. We'll get a decent ch chunk of experience. 138. Get a couple levels out of this, maybe. Oh, just one. So let's see if I can heal... If there's like an inn or something around here. So this guy resurrects, I believe. There's the inn. 
Well, we did, we did survive, and it's good experience. Tin gold, yes we will stay. We'll save and see if any of these guys can point us in a direction of where we need to go. This area was a lot more lively in the old days, but now it's just a death trap for any kind of boat. Or ringed by shoals. Not many captains will risk their boat to bother dealing with us. When you're out at sea, you get to see some peculiar sights. But when I saw a ghost ship loom out of thick fog, hair raising. So maybe we need to find said ghost ship as well. The lighthouse, the lighthouse had the moon rock installed at its pinnacle. It would glow at night to light the way for mariners at sea. It was a gift from mermaids, you see. You'll see. See here. My internet keeps dropping out here and there. Hopefully it just doesn't bottom out completely. The sea level has gone down, many shoals have appeared, it resulted in countless ships running around. Listen, did you know? Mermaids appear to love dancing. By the way, there's a cave west of Polona. A giant squid lives there. That squid is said to love, love to dance. I don't know if I want to see that. Alright, so a cave west of Polona. We may go check that out first. Yes! There is a Team Rocket. They were the bandits in the first town. Their goal was to find the strongest monster of them all. <laughs> so, we defeated them and... That's where we got Mr. Lamp from our genie or whatever he is. Genie Lamp. That was their strongest guy. We murdered him and then he decided to join our party. So we need to go back to Polona and try and find our way west. And see if we can do something about the squid. Hey, more meat. We'll save the pork chops for... I guess when we fight sea creatures to see... If maybe one of those will wake, wake that guy up. It might be that big squid or something. Oh, everybody falling asleep. Level 11. Gets some pretty decent stats when he levels up as well. So, definitely not here. Need to figure out how to get back to Polona. I don't seem to remember. Uh, we might have went across the sea. Seems like we're leveled up enough to where these guys don't really do anything to us, but those sea creatures are still no joke. But I think Polona was to the south. And that was the second town we visited. Or maybe it was... yeah, it was the second town.
I believe. Hey, we got an army ant. Anybody got a name for this guy? Since they don't let us keep the names the same. That might work. Our man, yeah, army, army of ants. That will work. If I can use this alphabet, every once in a while I might get it right. I don't think he's very good, but we'll, we can check him. Yeah, he's not, not so hot in the uh, attack department. So we'll send him back to get ground up by uh, Professor Oak. I think there's... oh, here's the town. Is this Polona? Yes, yeah, Port of Polona, so we need to go west of here. That is all blocked off, so we'll head out, maybe save it here. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be candy. Grind you up into bits and feed you to my other guys. Make them stronger. So we head west, and hopefully, well, I do want to find, I need some herbs if we can find a guy to shop with. I don't see anybody here. Looks like we'll just have to wing it. We'll go west and find said dancing squid. The only thing is, we don't know how far west. Looks like we still need to keep going. Took out the... The bat in no time. Those critical hits do work, though. Alright, maybe we should keep a... how many screens we go. So we go... one left. There's two. We got two left, let's try to go up. Oh, this guy's interesting. We'll go ahead... well, maybe that we need to capture the squid. We'll go ahead and maybe save the pork for the squid or something. He might be pretty cool. So that is completely surrounded. Looks to be surrounded here as well. So we have no way to get... Well, there's the cave, so we know where the cave is, but we have to, looks like, raise the water... somehow. Because they, they talked about the water being lowered so that all these are exposed. 
Let's see if we can solve that puzzle. But yeah, um, each one of our guys have a, I guess, a wild stat. The, the more wild they are, the, the more likely they are to disobey us. Yeah, that's, that's always nice. I've done that a few times uh, with, like, tournaments and whatnot. Just stream it, to, stream it to my TV and call it a day. Just kind of chill and watch. Do one more defense up. See if he obeys me. He did obey me. Solid 20 damage. Just go all out. And we should be able to get this guy down. So these are getting quite a bit easier. Get a couple levels and... Things are much better. Is this where we first came in at? Looks like it. Stocking up on some pork chops. So we have to find, I think, the ghost ship. Maybe taking them out will somehow raise the water. Yeah, the, the levels are no joke in this. Eh, I think we're doing alright. We've found a couple herbs. So, I need to find... Some people are talking about a pirate ship somewhere. to find this ghost pirate ship. Okay, we know that. That's just the shopkeeper. Volcanic Island off the coast. We don't know which way, though. Maybe that is the volcanic island that we went to that was all blocked off. Haunted ship in the north. Alright, so we need to go north. See if we can find this ship. and hopefully not die. So this is our, I guess, the volcanic island as well. That we can't make it to yet. Not sure what speed does. I know it increases agility, but I don't know if it just gives you priority on first move. Haven't researched that much. Get some more money. Just keep going north and see if we can find this pirate ship.
All right, another level. More, two more HP, more magic. Axel has finally made it to level 10. And the bird wants to join us. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to guess what you guys want to call this. Let me know if I'm on, on the right track. Is that it? <laughs> That's PG, PG thirteen, right? Just the act of the act of uh, pecking. Let's see what kind of stats he has. So 30, 40, he's got 172 intellect, level 9, 43 health. Do you have any moves? He has sap. So I'm going to go ahead and not take him. We'll send him back to the farm. I'm not sure what uh, sap is. I'm guessing it just takes the guy out of battle for a few turns. Collect all the meat. Nice. Ribs are like 200 gold. I guess we'll keep going north and see if there is a pirate ship. We've been to this town. I think we've gone around the world. It appears we have gone north around the world. Because <laughs> that's the town that we were just at that said to go north, right? Maybe we need to go northwest. captured both of these guys, so we don't need them, and I don't think we're allowed to capture more than one. Or at least it doesn't seem that way. Let's see if we can keep going north and find this ship. been there. We got some gold there last time. There is an island off to our east. Oh, this ought to be fun. Ahead. Hopefully he'll obey us. All right, everybody ignores us. Charge. Kind of want that starfish guy. He looks kind of cool. I 
eventually we'll take one of these guys out. Need to heal. Axel's getting his face pushed in. Alright, one down. Thirty-two experience. Mosh gets level twelve. Two HP, more magic, attack and defense, agility, and intellect. So here is an interesting island. It is also all blocked off. Yeah, we can. We can name him Patrick. But I don't think I've been to... Well, maybe I've been to these. Yeah, because that's a mermaid village, right? This sailing gets me all confused. Maybe this guy will teach us to be good at dancing. La 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 la. We are excellent dancers. <laughs> if there were a monster that could lead the dance performance. So we need to get the dancing guy in the cave, but we can't get to the cave. Maybe if we capture a sea creature, then we can wake up the sleeping drunk guy. So I'll throw some I'll throw some food at these dudes. See if we can get something. I don't really want any of these, I don't think. Go ahead and do a defense. You can charge. You can charge as well. Alright, got a crit, took one of them out. I kind of want... this guy to keep using this move, since he has so much magic. Wait, that guy has heal. Maybe I do want one of them. Go ahead and throw... maybe we can get a healer. Got a pork chop. Yeah, that's, that I don't know either. Um, there is a library uh, in the game that I might be able to lead, read some stuff. Um, I'm sure it's in the booklet that I have, or well, I don't have it because I think I lost it as a child. So I have a poster, which is the background that you see, um, and then I have the game. But I think I lost the instruction manual as a child, or it's in my room somewhere. if we get one of the healers. So we got this guy, Octo Kid.
Yes, Octo Kid can join us. I don't think he was the healer. We can confuse everybody and call him... People will be like, why is your octopus named Hex? It's because he's got five arms. That's why. <laughs> Unless anybody has anything interesting to name him. And call him Hexy. Why not? Just because. Yeah, unfortunately, we are uh, limited to five five letters, which is unfortunate. It kind of limits things. I think the first game you could only use four, which is even worse. Let's see what he does. So he's pretty average. He's worse worse than my guys. I don't think he was the healer. Oh, he is the healer. He has heal and lure dance. So I may swap him out for Axel so that we have a healer. All right, we got sexy, sexy hexy. Maybe we can find this guy that is sleeping, see if this wakes him up. I think that's around here somewhere. If not, I'll randomly stumble upon it again. Yeah, we got we got healing Hexy. He uses the love water on you. Maybe that's what we could we could abbreviate love and water. We could have did love water. like he's right around the same level that we are as well. Alright, so that's where we've been. So let's go north. If I remember correct, it's over from here. That rogue wave is kind of cool too. It's like a. It's not even really a monster. It's just a. It's just a wave. But I guess they can. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Love water would have been perfect. I think it was right over here. I am not mistaken. Right? Wasn't it right here? Because it was surrounded by rocks. I swear it was right there. Because that's the size of the town. So it's kind of interesting. I wonder if... No, I don't think we can use heal outside of battle. And I believe... 
we will eventually get like an AoE heal as well. As soon as he steps up a tier. We'll make things very nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can make him heal. This guy can attack. You can attack. I want you to heal. See, like, Lur Dance. I don't know what Lur Dance does. That might make him, like, friendly or something. Hmm. We can't heal if we uh, one-shot him. And Draki wants to join us. Let's see, what do we want to call him? Got Sucker, <laughs> since he's a vampire. Um, I'm not very creative with names, which is why in Pokemon I just left them all the same. I didn't like naming any of my guys. I think Sucker. Sucker will work. We can always go to the name changer. We'll go ahead and see what he does. He is really low level. And everything else kind of sucks on him. He has Antidote and Sleep. I think you are going back to the farm. Yeah, because we've been here... I swear... That place that we were was where the other town was. Maybe I'll wander around on land. I think that's how I found it last time. This is the beginning. Alright, party time. Heal yourself. We'll try the lure as well. Alright. We got, looks like about everything off. Except the heal. The heal did not go. So let's try it again. You can go ahead and charge. I need to teach you to use your skill better. And you need to heal yourself. Everybody's ignoring me. So, heal is pretty good. We'll just have to level it up a little bit. Hopefully he'll listen to me. We'll go ahead and use an item. Maybe. What does that do? Hmm, I don't have an item. So we will have to... rely on the guy that doesn't listen to us. One down, and Mosh has died. See if we can take these guys out. 
Okay, sap. Looks like sap takes away defense. Got some more level. Although now we need to find a healer. I think there should be an island somewhere here. So we will drag around our buddy in a casket until we find a place to heal. So there's the castle. Oh, that guy's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. And if I remember right, just west of the castle, like southwest, was the town we need to go to and try and wake up that one dude. Ice bolt hurts so much. And he's dead. Alright, it is up to our lamp, unless we can flee. Go ahead and plan. Let's do defense up. Oh no, I defended. Uh, let's see. We need skill and increase. Doing a little bit less damage. Guess I might need to see if this heals. Nope, that was not a healing item. I don't think I have enough damage or healing. Let's try and get away. There we go. So now we really need to heal. be there. Let's try going up here. We'll follow the land and hopefully get these guys back up. Hopefully we can take this guy out. Alright, good. Yeah, those guys are no joke over there by that castle. So here it is. Is there anybody that will resurrect my party? There's an inn. There he is. I need to revive. Of course you would churches are for profit in this game. Some nice, nice organ music. Let's get the other guy up. Oh, they even increase their price every time. This church is definitely, definitely for profit. Alright, let's see what our stats are. Everybody healed up, that guy's not. These two are. I do want to reorder them. He's good. So we want this guy, this guy, and then that guy. Maybe I'll go ahead and sleep at the inn as well. Since I don't have any healing items. May have to go run around the original world to see if I can get some healing items. All 
Alright, I believe the sea guy was here. Let's see if he wakes up. Hey, it worked! What? Why are you with want monsters? You're not a little child. Did you want to hear my tales? Yes, I do. It was in my callow youth. The ship I was captured by. Pirates. Who kept us as slaves. We toiled for months that way. But one day, I overheard them, talking about the moon rock. If it were taken from the top of the lighthouse, the sea would ebb. And that would make it impossible to approach the volcanic island, where they hid their loot. Unfortunately, they saw me. They would never allow someone to live knowing their secret. So I ran, leapt on into the sea. I was rescued by a passing ship. Okay. So. Get a moon rock. Put it back in the lighthouse. And then we can get to these islands we can't get access to currently. The pirate's loot is probably still on the volcanic island. But there's no way of getting close to the island. It should be possible to go if the island and the moon rock were to be returned to the lighthouse. But the moon rock, the moon rock sank with the pirates and their ship. Maybe if mermaids could help. Can mermaids still be seen in Polona? Hmm. So mermaids have to guide us, it appears. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, so we solved the first puzzle. We have to somehow get the mermaids to show up. Which it appears they like dancing. So maybe we can. But we have to also find the dancer, which is supposed to be west. But we can't get to that one currently. Unless that was the wrong island. Let's head down to the mermaid place and see if we can maybe get them to do something. So this guy is supposedly the guy to get mermaids to come, but we need a monster that can dance. Which this guy does have dance. Let's see. Let's see if we can magically dance now. Oh yeah, we're doing something different. We're doing circles and shit. And there's a mermaid. It was Hexy. So we did need Hexy all along. He does everything for us. By random chance we catch him. So, while we are here, I'm going to refill my drink. Yeah, Hexy, Hexy does everything. 
Alright, so we have a mermaid at the surface. Bravo, bravo. You're fabulous. You have a certain flair for genius. Oh. You say you want the moon rock. Well, alright. Your monsters say that you're a good human. I'll take you to our queen. Close your eyes. Ah, nice. So now we are in the mermaid layer. Very interesting. This is the Mermaid Kingdom. It is built on the ocean floor. It is very rare to see a human here. Tell me if you want to go home. Okay, Lady at the Stairs lets us go home. The pirates caught. I think I've seen a movie where they capture a bunch of pirates, or the pirates capture a bunch of mermaids. Maybe this is where they got their story from. The pirates caught us in nets and blackmailed our queen into handing over our treasures. I know not all humans are bad, but the pirates who stole our treasure were human too. I hope the Haramir is not being used for their wicked misdeeds. The Harmir was exquisite. It was flawless. That made it real. It was so flawless that it made it real. real. Its reflection, while the original, ceased to exist in this world. I think I butchered all of that text. Uh-oh, looks like uh, Chris is getting wrecked. Alright, let's go find our queen. The moon rock fell from the sky. It glows like the moon at night. We mermaids are peaceful beings. We shy away from violence. The thought of a haunted ship roaming the sea makes us uneasy. It will make our scales go coarse. The pirates sank with their ship. However, their greed for treasure would not allow them to rest easy. They now drift the sea as the ghostly crew of a spectral ship. Yeah, my phone went off every time he starts. I usually get a message. I haven't watched him do his, uh, his new training uh, DVD yet, or whatever it is. Well, I did, I saw him throw in the football. It was like jogging in place and toss the football at the target, which is pretty cool. Welcome, young human. I heard that you seek the moon rock to land on the, the volcanic island. The moon rock is no longer here, but I can tell you where it is. It remains on the ghost ship. It is a spectral ship, manned by the spirits of pirates who died at sea. Driven by greed for treasures, the ship still wanders upon the waves. Look north from... Look north from Yold for her. North from Yold. Let me write it down just in case. I don't remember anything called Yold, unless that's what this is. Okay, yes, yes. Turn the greed, treasures, blah blah blah. Look north from Yold. Okay. It'd be helpful if we knew what the hell Yold was.
I'm astonished. Mermaids exist. Yes, they do. Alright. That calls for another save. So we have to find a place... Because this is the one that starts with a P or whatever. Welcome to Port Polona, yes. So, north of Yold. Where the hell is Yold? I forget what the other town is named. Yeah, sometime we'll have to, maybe after this round, I might have to train a couple of guys up to level 10 and see if we can combine them into something cool. Something that might be able to get a little better stats. Is that these guys, they don't evolve. You always have to combine them and they make a, a new type. So there's nothing here. Let's see what this place is. I don't think this was the old. Helps if I don't walk right back out. This is Port Ritz. Okay. Maybe buy some healing items. Since we have a little bit of money now. I don't really want to walk... I don't want to buy love water, though. Love water is so expensive. This will buy a couple of them. have to find whatever Yold is. Maybe that's this little castle or whatever over here. Uh, Mosh. We... I guess we'll go ahead and have you do your stuff. Mosh ignored us yet again. Well, we took out the one guy really fast. Might try and get a heal on myself. No, I didn't want to do mixed. charge, you can charge. You need to heal. Go ahead and, I guess, heal herself. But we couldn't get it off. So we just needed to use that guy to heal everything next time. I really don't want to use the water that I have. So... Let's have you do... Mixed. You can charge. Let's see what happens if I make him do defensive. See if he heals. Hey, he did heal.
Alright, so he's doing pretty good at healing, like that. I think we're good, so we'll go ahead and do this. These guys are pretty, pretty brute. <laughs> the guy's name is Arrow Dog. I wonder why. They're making the game. They're like, hey, let's make this demon dog with a bow and arrow. We'll call him Arrow Dog. So here is this. I don't know what this is. Is this Yold? Oh, that guy's pretty cool. Definitely need to heal, though. Go plan. We have charge. Charge and defensive. Looks like they healed the right people as well. Charge, charge. I think everybody else is good. Maybe we'll figure out what's at the end of this. I know they talked about a dancing squid of some sort. I will definitely be fine if we don't have too many of the uh, three battles. Just takes a lot of resources to get through those. So nothing here, but we can go this way. Either that or this. This might be the lighthouse that I don't have the proper item for. I bet that's what this is. It is. Okay, so we know that is the lighthouse. So now we just have to find this damn pirate ship. Battles aren't aren't too bad. Definitely hurts uh, hurts a little bit when he gets a battle off. Definitely need a few more levels. Get a little bit extra defense. Hey, Mosh got a level. Got three HP. A lot more magic. Three attack, defense, agility, and intellect. Definitely won't complain if we're getting levels. Need them, need all I can get while I'm wandering around trying to find this pirate ship. Just have to figure out what they mean by North of Yold. If we can get them to heal a little bit more. There you He healed the wrong person. I wanted him to heal himself. Okay, apparently he's going down the list. Healing everybody that is twice the amount of HP that he is. Maybe we go f north from here? Maybe the lighthouse is called uh, Yold or whatever. A little bit more meat.
Alright. What town is this? This is the village of Yold. Okay, so Yold is the original town. Let's see if he's got the cheap... the cheap stuff to buy. He does. Give me, like, ten of these. Because that does 60 to 70 for five times the price. This does 30 to 40. So it's always cheaper to use the herb. <laughs> Unless Love Water does, like, everybody, but I doubt it. Just kind of sprays the love water everywhere. Alright, so we know this is Yold. Let's save it and we'll wander north and see if we find something. I was already here! <laughs> Guess we had to trigger certain events. We will take on these pirates though. Nothing in the barrel. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a bunch of undead on this ship. Mummified fish. Interesting. Let's see, does this go anywhere? Try back down. So we got a couple of quarters. I guess we will see what is down in this area and then we'll make our way up and then kind of explore each of the decks hey he finally healed himself interesting used his lure dance, which I really don't want him to do right now. I didn't see what it did, though. Let's charge everything. Okay, it looks like we're not taking the mummified fish. We're just noticing that it's in there. Oh, no room for it. So we might have bought too many items. Let's see... Go ahead and... I guess use a herb. Even though no one really needs it. Just in case we stumble upon an item. We got a warp wand. Ah, who's this guy? How could we die before enjoying all the loot we amassed? Alright, first pirate battle. Wonder if we can catch him with anything. Did we get the, maybe he likes bad meat? Thought we got bad meat. Maybe not. Go for pork chop. Apparently he does not like it. Alright. That is a lot of damage. So this guy can do mixed. 
We'll do charge. And defensive for Hexy. Alright, he did the right one. Okay, he's healing. Nice. So now we can switch Ganja to attack more and be defensive. So you charge, you charge, and you still need to heal yourself. He fell... Of course he did. Alright, and that stuff hurt. At least we have the herbs that we can use. We'll also free up our inventory a little bit. Everybody took a lot of damage on that one. How is... yeah, he definitely needs it. I guess it's a good thing we bought it all, then. We're definitely going through it. If he has anything interesting. Antidote. Love water. Alright, time to go up. Let's see what's on this deck. Ah, there's our first little undead type. Let's see if we can try a pork chop on him. There we go. I doubt that just uh, one item will allow me to catch him, but we'll see. We could always get lucky. Alright, we got a level. Alright, secret chest up top. We well, might as well go that way. It's like a treasure bag. Let's go ahead and throw out another pork chop. Ooh, he has fireball as well. And it hurts. Another level. And he wants to join our party. Let's see what he has. He does have Fireball, so he might be a decent replacement for the, uh, the face mask dude. Alright. So, he is a treasure bag. <laughs> I don't I don't think we'll name him that though. What shall we call him? Let's call him Biggs.
Let's see what he has. All right, so he is high in luck base, 34 attack. Defense is really good. So we have 34. Andy's a lot lower level. 40, 81, and 187. He is all around better than this guy. So looks like old Mosh will be going back to town. He has stop spell and fireball. Nice. So this guy has a lot more potential since he is like half the level of everybody else. We just have to level him up now. Agility Seed. wonder what happens if we combine Agility Seed with Love Water. Seems like a, a decent combination. Alright, I might need to switch Hexy around. Hopefully he heals himself. Good. That fireball will be really useful for doing some AoE damage. So we've defeated that guy a few times. I, I don't think we can interact with the beds at all. Go ahead, have him do a mixed hexy, and go ahead charge, we want him to charge. I'd like him to use the fireball. If he quits ignoring us. Maybe he'll be useful. I didn't even look and see what his wild level was. I'll have to check that afterwards. These guys seem like they're defending a lot. Keep saying they brace for attack. Alright, we finally beat him. And a good chunk of experience. We need to get the treasure bag leveled up a little bit. It's a good amount of health each time. A good amount of defense. So hopefully he's a, a good addition. Yeah, we cannot interact with the bed. Alright, here's our next battle. I don't think we can save either. We can use the item though that allows us to save if we want. So that exit hits all enemies, allows us to save. I need something to tame monsters. I wanted to restore the magic points of 
our healers so that we don't run into magic issues. I just I'll, I'll just have to use items more until we get to the end. So let's go ahead and heal though. Since I have all of these, because this will probably be a, a decent fight. Treasure is ours. No one will take it from us. Except for me. How about... You go defensive. Hexy can go ahead and charge. You can charge. Man, that does a lot to those other two guys. Let's see... We need increase. You need to go defensive the rest of the time, and you need to go offensive. All right, we got the defense off. Got a heal. Gonna have to use an item. No. Okay, it didn't. I thought it was gonna skip my turn. All right, let's go ahead and use this on Hexy. All right. He healed the right person. My goodness, that hurts. Go ahead, go... for another heal. Nice, we got the crit. That saved us like four turns getting that crit. Hey, Big's leveled up again. More HP. I will not complain. Let's use some of our items to heal up. Should be good for now. Let's go up and see if we can get this treasure. Hmm, that was a weird noise. There be ghosts in this room. All right, so we have looks like another fight there. I think we do have to fight them though. Unless there's like a captain's quarters over here. My goodness, they keep attacking him. Need to save my mana for the boss fight. Hopefully we can zarg him down. My other two party members just get so much damage. Alright, there we got him. We'll have to use our items, heal back up now. It's a good thing we bought all that crap. Because <laughs> I'm down to like my last little bit. At least if there's a big fight up here, I might go ahead and use this bookmark. Just in case. So that way I don't lose any progress. There is a captain. 
Who disturbs us in our sleep? Oh, there are still fools chasing our treasure after all this time. Boss battle. Holy crap. I might not be ready for this. There's no way really to avoid it, though. I'm going to take direct control, because we're going to need the defense several times. You can go ahead and charge. Kind of want him... I don't know if we need to use stop spell. Let's go ahead and use fireball. Nice. 18, 17, 19. Good. I might need to spell stop him. Because that hurts. Um, you need to go... Let's go item. Love water. So I need to set him up to heal, like, every time now. Because I can't survive much more. This is going to be... This is going to be rough. But we need to get our defense up more. Hexy needs to do defensive. I should have... Maybe used an item. How about you just go charge? Hexy might die here, yep. That is not good at all. I think I will be dying. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any way that I could have done that better. There's one guy down. Gosh, that hurts so much. So we have to... I have to use a heal. So we have a herb. Here's a love water. I've got a couple wands that I can use. Maybe get through this. Okay, good, good, good. Maybe they're out of mana. Do I have any heals? I do have one heal left. Alright, we're down to the boss. We got a lucky crit. Let's go ahead and... Go all out. I think he's only single target. I think we made it, boys. That hurt a little bit. Um, I do not have any healing, so... This is the last hurrah. And try. Yeah, we just have to fight. And we're down to our lucky little lamp. Let's see what happens here. At least he has a bunch of defense. I don't know if I need to do speed up or not. I don't think so. It's got so much health. Nice. Good god, he's still alive. 
So 50 damage, and I do like 10 damage a turn. Uh, he's a beast. I definitely think I should have been a higher level for this. Um... That hurt. So I have to kill him in this turn. Otherwise, I am dead. Alright. Okay. Can we get another crit? Okay, we're getting lucky. And there it is. So that's my first total wipe. I wonder if I can just load my save. Because I might be able to do something a little better. Trying to think how I will load it. I guess I just reset. Let's try it and see. That way we don't have to run all the way back. Alright, let's give this a try again. Alright, good. So, item-wise... What do I have? I have the exit bell. What does wind do? Hits all enemies with a windstorm. I will need to use that. Got some love water. That's the only thing I can use is the wind that I didn't use last time. Let's give it a try again. I might set these guys up. Oh, I can set them up when we get in there. Or just in case. Let's see, what is our order? So we definitely want him first. I don't know who has... Let's go like this. And maybe our healer won't get targeted as much. And we want him... Go ahead and be command. This guy needs to do that, and this guy needs to do this. Alright, we'll try this one more time. I think I had some lucky crits last time, and I don't know if this one will go so well. At least I have them all set up properly, and I can go ahead and use this wind. And I might need to use a stop spell if I can. Only does nine damage. All right, we got the heal off. Jeez, oh jeez. So let's fight. We need more defense. This guy needs to use Stop Spell. And uh, Hexy needs to stay defense. So 
So we got some good damage. Hurts so much. So, item. I think Ganja can survive, so let's go ahead and use a herb on Biggs. And maybe Hexy will heal somebody. Okay. Biggs is going to need a heal again. Um, da -da 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 -da. Just have love water. On Biggs. I'm glad these boss battles are at least uh, a good challenge. It's not necessarily a pushover. Alright, Hexy has no mana. So... Let's go ahead and... Might use Wind and see if I can... Because I don't think it's anything good to keep Hexy alive. Alright, we're down to the captain. Let's try... Let's go... Defensive. You... Go mixed. You have to charge. So... Okay, Hexy died, so that was the, the sacrifice. We need to... I think I can survive another round. So let's fight. Okay, he missed. Do another fight. him do a stop spell. Okay. Okay. So now we won't get three shot. And now that he has stop spell out, I really want to get my defense of these two up. So I'm going to use command and increase. We'll keep him on mixed. And I think that will allow us to survive. I'm going to go ahead and use the item. I think this is my last heal. No, I have two heals left. So I think we got this. Got a nice crit. Go ahead and use this last heal. Now we'll go all out. Alright, you charge. You stay mixed, because I want you to use your spells. Maybe he'll stop spell them again. Alright. You charge. Let's see if I can get him to do a stop spell again. Okay, good. And charge, mixed. And I think we just fight it out. We'll 
we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll do one more and then maybe try to do a, a spell stop again. So that he doesn't do his triple attack. Alright, he ignored me. And cast Fireball. Which I won't complain. Try this again. Alright, there we go. And go all out. Try Zerg him down. Be interested to see how long this battle is, because it is taking a long ass time. Getting some decent damage. And it's always good if he attacks my main guy. Go ahead, do a... see if we can make him... use stop spell. Looks like it works. I need to make him use his other spells as well. So, you charge... See if he'll use his fireball. We can do that a couple times. Nice! We did it! My god, that was a long battle. 760 experience. I definitely want to save after that. We have to... I think I'll use one of my items to escape. Nice. Fireball became Fire Bane. I wonder what that is. Getting all the levels. I wish Hexy would have got some of this. Because Biggs got three levels in that fight. I would say he was under leveled a bit. Child, we have lost. Finally, we can sleep. Alright. We get the item we are after. And he drops us back off in town. How convenient. We need to res and heal. And save. There is no in here. So let's go ahead and save. So, we have seven minutes on that. Let's see, it was a ten minute fight. Can't believe there's not a inn in this place. Guess we'll have to go up north a little bit. And I really don't want to take the water, but I think we have to. Uh, we need to run. Well... We really need to run. Hopefully we get lucky and it lets us leave. There we go. Alright, let's get across the treacherous water that is the sea. I think it's over this way. There we go. We really need the healer in the inn. Do 
we have to cross water again? I think I will. We can go ahead and fight these. I think I can one-shot most of them. Alright, there we go. We need to find the town next to the lighthouse and then head to the lighthouse. So I believe it was this way up and over. Which there was probably an inn in that one. But I think we can make it. As long as I don't get too many crazy battles. Apparently, I might have gone the wrong way. Try down and over. No, don't be bad, don't be bad. It is bad. It is super bad. Alright, we escaped that one. Okay, we cannot go here. Oh, come on. I went around in circles. Uh, let's try this again. Maybe we just stop at this town that I was at. If I can find the town. Because it is not looking good for us right now. Try south. Maybe I just went the absolutely wrong way. So we can't go there. Where in the world is this place? Maybe here is what I need. That's a new guy. Alright. Well, we are asleep. Need to take a couple of these guys off. Alright, there's one down. See if we get the slime out, and then we can focus on the big dude. I might have to run. Taking way too much damage. Of course, there is nothing. I would get lost exactly when I need to heal the most. Please be our town over here. There's a town here, but. I can get some healing items, but nothing else. Somehow we made it all around and I missed the town that we need again. Go for five. At least we can keep one guy alive so that we can make it to the proper town. No, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, come on. There we go. Go ahead, heal up. Alright, so now we have a little bit of health. Let's try and go the correct way.
We need to get over to the port town again. It's always so difficult to get where we need to go. Alright, we took out the ant bear. And he would like to join our party. Yes. Um just call him Bear just to just to get it over with. Or we can call him Teddy. Maybe Teddy's better. Let's see what he can do. Overall, his stats are not that great. Hexy is still super wild. Biggs is wild. He has no skills, so he is going back to the farm. Oh, come on. There we go. Now let's try and make it to the proper town we need to go to. Well, I can warp back here. And then just come back in. And our one dude should heal us to full. I forgot about that. And then we'll search for the lighthouse. Alright, we have all of our dudes again. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's see who has the most defense here. Okay, I've got them ordered the way I need because Hexy is super squishy. Go back to the pirates. And try to find our way to the lighthouse. Hey, it looks like all the meat reset too. Stock up on that jerky. Alright, let's sell north. If we can find the island that we need. to get some levels as well. Definitely going to grind a bit here in the ocean before we head off to our next world, I believe. I think we need to, to make a little progress. time. Kind of went up and over. But down here. wonder if I need to put our one guy on mixed, because he never uses his spells. 
I'd like them to use this fire spells every once in a while just to speed this stuff up. Definitely no town down here. That's back to the beginning. Alright, you charge. Maybe that's why. Let's do mixed. You can charge for now. Going after my healer. So I put him in the back lines to hopefully avoid that. Okay, there's an item out there. Love water. Alright, can we find the right island? I don't think it's here. Is it up one more? Let's try up one more. There it is. Alright, let's save here. And then we'll go to the top of the lighthouse. I don't know why I have such a difficult uh, time finding this one area. Nice. Crit is always good. I may need to give the ribs to my dudes to make them obey a little better. Alright, we are here. I don't think there's going to be a boss or anything, but we never know. Oh, we can't save here. Oh well. We're saved back at town. We already found our way through this thing. I may put Hexy on mixed. I don't know. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Firebane does like a double single target attack. Needs to use that more often. Could have probably fed these guys and maybe get one of them. This might be where I farm a little bit here. Because it's got some guys that I don't have. We'll go ahead and feed them. Got a couple ribs. Let's go ahead and do a rib. My ganja guy doesn't take too much damage at all. You can charge, you can stay mixed. Um, you can go mixed. Of course, Hexy ignores me. Need to give him some jerky or something. Let's see if Hexy will heal anybody. Nice. That did a lot to them. Put them back on defense. I like this guy on mixed. And you go defense. That way he heals next time. That. Oh, nice. We got one. Eider. 
got up looking hopeful. I like the the looks of this dude. Hopefully he's good. Huh. What shall we call you? Let's call you Wrath. He looks, he lo definitely looks cool, and hopefully he's got some decent stats. But it, he's level 15, and all of his stats are garbage. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Hexy's wildness is 260. I might need to feed him some of my food. He does heal though, and do fireball, but I think I like my other dude since he's got better stats. So you go back to the farm. Guess I can use an item. Herb. Use. Might use the beef jerky just to get his stuff a little bit better. Here's a pork chop. So he's pretty good. This guy is really bad. So let's see what this does. 260. He happily ate the treat. His affection rose. See what happens with a rib. So that recruits only ten. We need to to get him a lot better though. So that did twenty. We'll do that for now, and when I get maybe a better spot for money, I'll feed him a lot more stuff. I think it was this way. Keep going up. And we restore... Item. Moonrock. Use. All right, so all of these rocks should now be gone. And we can now travel over to the island we need to get to. Except I used the rocks to navigate last time, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Let me see if there's any items around here. Let's go here. I'll try to go up this other side and see if there's something interesting. Okay, that the enemy healed. I was like, why is my guy healing? But I do have him on defense, so... Might need to change him. He's got a pretty good magic pool to keep up with the heals. I think that's our first time seeing that bird. Or the the wavern. Alright, Hexy gets a level. Doesn't get hardly any HP. Gets some good defense though. Hmm. 
That went nowhere. Let's try down here. I don't believe we've gone this way. Nice. Took him out fast. Oh, the wavering heels as well. So, wavering wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Maybe he'll be better than Hexy. Ah, nice, there is a chest. A log twig. I do not know what that does. Moves the door shrine. Hmm. Okay. Guess that's the fast way back. You just move the door shrine to you. If that's an ice monster. Because I don't think we have an ice guy yet. <laughs> Just a mad healer. Keeping everybody topped off. I like his firebane attack. I might switch him to more offensive. Maybe he'll maybe he'll use his offensive spells. I'm not sure exactly how it works. We'll change him next time and see if he still uses his spells. Alright. It is time to sell west, I believe. And find the island with the cave. We'll go ahead and refill on mana, since it's cheap. And my guy's just healing everything in sight. Oh man. I'm proud of my internet tonight. Going almost three and a half hours, dropping a few frames here and there, but it hasn't completely gone gone to shit on me. No, we already did. Alright. Let's try and go west, I believe. I believe it's west from the Polo Town or whatever. We can find our way over there. Hey, money. Aw. Oh, only 30 gold. I guess since we ran the pirates off, it's not too much money anymore. I think this one was caught, cut off before. Yes, yeah, so we've never seen... Well, we've seen the tinky-looking dude, but the butterfly guy is new. Alright. So, let's go charge... Go charge, and you stay defend. Dang, took that butterfly out. The crit. Crit for days. More levels. So far, the lamp has been our only support class. 
I don't think we've run across anything else. We have seen quite a few healers, though. So this is back at the lighthouse. So I think we need to go south a little bit. I would like one of these. Let's see if we can give him the old rib. defeated him. Will he join our party? He will. Let's try... I know it won't fit, but I know we wanted to call him Patrick. Let's go... P... A... T R K or R C Go R C It's Patrick Patrick <laughs> Be good enough. Yes, let's see what you can do, buddy. So he is level 13, so 52 attack, better than this dude, better than all of our guys. So if he is a replacement it would be for Biggs. What's his defense? 65, 36 defense. He has Odd Dancing Geyser. Eh, I think I want to keep Biggs for the fire. But I do like his model. His model looks really neat. There we got it. wonder if I can save out here. Probably not. Maybe if I go one over. Nope, can't save here. So we may have to wing it. Let's see what kind of guys are in here. Lots of new guys. Let's see how we stand up. So they're healing. Let's go plan. Let's go charge, mix, and defend. That way the stop spell hopefully gets the healer. Alright, it did. I think we are good now. There's one down. At least these fights are getting easier. When we first got here, uh, three of these guys would almost kill us. Let's see if we can find this random dancing squid octopus dude. Maybe he has the mirror that we need. Not been here, so it'd be interesting finding our way through. Let's 
forget what upper does. I think upper is like a speed boost for everybody. Hopefully our guy... there we go. Get all three? It does. Now we should be able to take him out. So if you are new to the game or to the channel and haven't been watching the past couple days, uh, you can't you can control their stuff directly, but you go down to plan and you can do command. But since these guys are wild, they will most likely ignore us. So charge is like all out attack. Mixed will be a mixture of like the stop spell, which is a silence. And uh, he also has an offensive spell, so I put him there. And then Hexy, I do defensive because he has heal. And he can't. He kind of keeps all our guys topped off, so that we don't have to worry about using too many items. And it's working so far. I'm sure we're going to have to surf over something. This probably connects uh, with the left path over here. It does. That is... That sprite is just slightly different than anything else. Alright, we got a rib. So legend has it, there is a weird dancing octopus somewhere in this cavern. And that's what we're after. We killed the pirates, we got the thing, uh, the glowing rock for the lighthouse, which raised the tide. Oh nice, there's another classic guy. He's a neat little squid. I might try and get him. Let's throw a rib out. He kind of seems like a healer as well. I like his I like his design. Oh, his name is Healer. All right. Maybe we should double rib him. It'd be nice to get the healer guy. Maybe he, he's slightly better than what we have. Our guy hasn't learned the AoE heal yet. Oh, we didn't get him. But we know to come back here if we do. Lots of treasure. I guess this is where the pirates are supposed to keep their treasure, so... A merm scale, what is that? Check when we get across this little patch of water. Raises defense by 10. I think it's uh, like a static boost. We'll save it for now. Try bottom right. Dude's got to be around here somewhere. Ah, I see him. No, I didn't want to flee. I wanted to fight those guys, but the D-pad on this controller sucks. Who are you? This is our surf. I mean, turf. You show me some respect on our s turf. That is, I'm mad. <laughs> Hopefully, he is easier than the other guy. So we don't have. Well, let's try the beef jerky. I don't know if we need to or not.
All right, I do this guy. I've had the lamp for a long time, so he usually obeys me. So I'm going to go ahead and use Increase, which does defense to the entire party. Because he's hitting even our highest defense guy for 11. So I imagine I need to buff, buff ourselves up uh, quite a bit. Got enough mana to heal through everything. Do this one more time. And that hopefully is good. I know if he hits one of our other guys, it's going to really hurt. Alright, we go fight. Looking good. I need to turn this guy back to offense. Go this guy like that. And keep him healing. Because I believe this guy has the mirror that we want. Hopefully, Hexy heals himself. Good. Just keep trucking along. My, my party seems to, to work really well so far like this. Need to see if I can get Biggs to cast his fireball. So, didn't want to do that. Alright, we do want you to charge. See if he'll listen to me. Hey, you did it. Alright, we have defeated the dancing squid monster. Terra's party got 173 experience. Biggs has leveled up. Nice, four more HP. For defense, good, good, good. Hmm, you are quite strong. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Will you let me go with you? You'll find my dancing special. Why yes, Mr. Boss Squid, I will certainly let you go with us. Alright. No! Why did it instantly send him back? So now... So I haven't found the item I need yet. So there's warp. I don't I don't think I had to to look for anybody else. But I feel like we came in here for a specific reason to find the item. Maybe I'll I don't want to head back just yet though. <laughs> Oh, there's the healer guy. Maybe we'll get him. Alright. So you charge. You can stay defense. We need to change bigs next time to attack more. to change him. Alright, we got rid of one, so at least we'll concentrate on him. So we can do plan, charge, charge. Alright, 
Hopefully he doesn't keep healing himself. I would like him because he has both upper, uh, which will do a entire party buff, and he has heal. So he may be one to switch out Hexy with. If I can get him. Still can't. So the only thing that I can think of is to teleport out of here. Warps you to the exit. So I guess we'll go the long, long way. Maybe we'll stumble upon what we need. But I think it's here. Yes, that is the exit. So let me double check. Just to make sure I'm not missing something. Because our item we need should be in here. So I got it. As far right as we can go, I have it. Hey, we do have beef jerky still. Try and get Mr. Heels. Please join my party. Oh, come on. We've gone here. We'll just check. I think it's three wide, three tall, or four tall. So we'll just go back and forth just before we leave, and hopefully we'll find our mirror that we need. Because I believe it was supposed to be in here. Unless I'm on the completely wrong I island. Come on, healer. Join the party. Eventually, we will get him. Yes, we got all that. Back down. Guess I should go up as well. Nice, one shot. This looks a little different. But I think this is where we came from. Let's check this. I don't have any of the pearl gels either. I don't really need them, uh, as far as I know. Besides having a different squid, or a different, uh, slime. But maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, we have done that. Let's check north. I feel like the squid should have had the item on him. Maybe I should check my inventory. Maybe I have it magically. But we are looking for the Har mirror. Maybe this is not the correct area. We do not have it. So I very well may be in the wrong area. Because we're supposed to be on the volcano. Yes, we've gone that way. Maybe I'll talk to the villagers and see if they can point me in the direction of the volcano. Kind of supposed to be in the center. I want to go get my squid guy, too. Since we have to go back to the beginning anyway... Yep, we've fully looked in this place. I 
don't believe there's anywhere else we can go. We've been there. Let me check south. But... I believe we've been all around this island. But our party is uh, wrecking some face, so I will not complain with a little bit of extra experience. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be here, so maybe I'll go get the squid guy and figure out what's going on, wherever this volcano island is. I haven't caught one of the merman guys either. guys seem to have a lot of defense, so it may not be too bad if they've got some other stats that are decent to get one. Hey, there's some money. I will stop for that. I don't think this is our volcano island, because we've been... we have been here before. So let's maybe just exit and see what's going on. See if we can find the right way to go. Oh, we like poisoned our dudes. Hopefully that's not a... oh, it is a lasting poison. Oh boy. Gonna lose all the health. Our beginning place should be somewhere down here. But yeah, we definitely need to exit so that we get that poison off of us now. <laughs> Makes my decision easier. Should be right down around this area. We've got our guy to heal heal us all back up, so I guess poison isn't too bad. I think I will finish this area up, try and find this dang mirror that I'm missing, and uh, then I'll probably in for the night. We've made, what, four hours of progress almost? i say that's a pretty good. If I can find my starting zone, I'll get out of here. <laughs> Surprised I didn't one-shot him. Those army guys aren't very strong. Should be around here somewhere. Alright, should be down. Oh, it takes away all of our mana instead of our health. That's interesting. I guess that's not too bad. Didn't really use uh, the mana on those two guys anyway. But our exit should be... Maybe it's down here. Nope. It's gotta be the other way. 
all of these random battles when you're trying to get somewhere. Alright, next screen, I believe. There it is. So yeah, it's not starred, so we are missing something. Let's go get our squid, head back, to talk to maybe some of the town folk, get an idea where the treasure is. But this is the home world, which we don't go back to too often. We're always in the other ones, and we've got a uh, monster farm here. We talk to our brother, allows us to withdraw and deposit things. Let's drop off. Um, let's try bigs for now. We can always bring them back out. I just want to see what the squid guy does. Alright, pick up. Where is he? Probably the last guy. There he is, Squiz. Oh, he's a slime type. A hood squid. What does he do? He is super strong attack, good defense, agility, intellect, and he obeys purely. What kind of... he has Lure Dance, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think we will... I think, yeah, we got rid of the right guy. Because our other guy really didn't use the AoE uh, that often, so I may breed him with maybe the squid guy or something along those lines. So we've got our lamp for utility, got damage and we have heals. Let me change our lineup. Not plan, we need reorder. So this guy has the most defense. Guy second and third. Save it as well. Let's venture back in, talk to some of the town's people, and find the item we need. I can't believe how good the colors, because this is a Game Boy Color game, um, everything looks very, very good in this game. Very polished for a Game Boy Color game. Alright, we are back to the Pirate Zone. I didn't even look and see what level... Uh, good old Squiz was. Okay, he's 12. So he should be really good. All he has is Lure Dance though, which is unfortunate. Alright, so there is a volcano somewhere around here. Let's see if we can get a hint from... I know the mermaid... No, it's not the mermaid guide, but it's the other guy we woke up. He told us where it was, but I've kind of forgotten since. These guys say anything? Nope, travel by sea...
Fresh fish. In the northwest is a village famous for mermaids. Okay, we've been there. Volcanic island off the coast. We have to find what off the coast means. So maybe it's, we'll just go all sides of this and figure out where it is. I hope the volcan volcanic island off the coast won't erupt. This is where all the treasure is supposed to be, is on this dang volcanic island. Maybe I can try going south or something. Because that is all blocked off that way. We can go south. So maybe we'll just make a, a circle around this area or something. I don't believe this is our island. Get stocked up on some extra stuff though. Apparently we are full. Definitely not the island. I know where we are, though. I do kind of want to get this meat, though. Yeah, Squiz hits for, like, 25. Pretty good for basic damage. We'll have to see if he gets uh, some other items. No room. What can we use or drop? Hmm. I'm gonna save that. We can drop some herbs. Go back north and try to the west since it's supposed to be off the coast of here. So I see nothing there. I mean, this seems... I can't interact with any of this, though. I'll just double check. That's definitely connected to the other island, so I don't think it's this one. Oh, that's a new guy. It's like a little coconut or something. Tropic gel. It's first time seeing one of the uh, tropical gels. Check here. I know I've checked here before. A oh, double, double tropical. Probably will be decent experience. Yeah, seventy six isn't bad. Alright, cannot interact with these rocks either, so let's check north. Not quite sure what they mean by off the coast. So this is the coast. Doesn't look like anything here. That is our beginning.
protect this island. I don't want to look it up, but I may have to. Because I have no idea where this vague island is in the course of all the other islands. Maybe we'll wander up to the port village and ask the old man again. Kind of interested to see that uh, Squiz is actually a um, slime type. I figured he would be like water or something. I know there were a couple islands I couldn't get to until I changed some stuff. This is our village. Go talk to the old man that is drunk. See if he tells us where this island is. Or maybe he's going to have the mirror the entire time. The moon rock. Ah, the mermaids helped you. Yes. Where's the island? Maybe go see the mermaids again. Maybe the mermaids have the treasure I need. So this should be over here. I don't know why these tropical guys are showing up all of a sudden. They definitely didn't before. Try down and over. I believe that's where it is. If not, it's just north of here. Nope. Not here. Head north. I think it's up there. so hard to keep track since this level is like fully if you go off the edge of this you end up over here so it's hard to keep your bearings where everything is I just want the mermaid town give me the mermaid town I'm guessing the arrow dog is like the devil class or the demon class or whatever it is. That's what it seems like. Alright, level 17. Squiz definitely doesn't level very fast. Keep wandering and try and find this mermaid place that we need to go back to. As they maybe have everything that we need all along. If I can find it.
Alright, let's go south. Since I have no idea where I am. If I can get back to the beginning town, I think it's like northeast of there. Wandering blind as could be. And this is where random battles get a little tiresome. I mean, I do need the levels, but there is a better area to grind than this. I feel like I've passed that same herb over and over again. Wait... This is what I need. I think we did it, boys. This is what we needed all along, I think. Holy crap, it's a dragon. Let's try and get this guy. I think we have meat. There we go. Beef jerky. Oh, he was pretty easy. That dragon looked pretty sweet, though. Is this... Yes. All of our... Blind wandering. And, of course, Prince Kameha has beat us here. Oh, wait, no, he followed us. Thanks for leading me to where the loot was, so I trailed you. I'll take the treasure home. I'm gonna whoop your ass, Prince Kamea. I'm gonna shoot a Kamehameha at you. See how you like it. Ah, oh, lots of cool guys here. A little bit stronger as well. Yeah, 76 for one uh, one monster. That's pretty good. Pretty good experience. So there's down. See if there's something else around here. Oh, it's a weird looking squid. His name is Dark Eye. The squid was not strong. <laughs> Took the squid out in one fell swoop. I won't complain about the experience. Alright. See if there's anything else on this level. So there's another way to go down. <laughs> he's a slabbit, because he's a slime that looks like a rabbit. I would definitely keep keep that name if uh, if I caught him. Although they don't let us name them more than five characters, a sixth one would open up a lot of options. Alright, what is up here? Just a bell. We already have some exit bells, so let's go down this way. And then we'll check the other other option afterwards. They may lead to the same area. This'll be some experience. I like that 
technically looking guy too. I do wish Squiz had like an AoE attack of some type. Because that was one good thing about uh, our little treasure bag that we had. He did have the AoE spell. But, I can breed our squid guy with the fire guy and basically keep all of the moves that he has. So that'll be... Oh dang, look at that turtle. I think he's got the heal. I don't think we're taking too much damage. All kinds of new guys in here. This is definitely where I'm going to grind if I can ever find my way back here. But I'm going to save the grinding for tomorrow. The, the turtle has a pretty high defense. Alright, we beat him. Do we get lucky and get one of, uh, one of these different guys? No, we do not. Ah, we found him. Er, how'd you catch up? You're faster than you look. Come on, mateys. Follow me. Aye, aye, sir. Right behind you. Ha! <laughs> and they fall down a hole. So far, I'm not getting tired of the music or anything. It's like, uh, way back up. Nothing here. So let's go the other way. We may have to jump down the hole. Dang, double turtle. If the turtles have any type of, like, good attack, am I considering swapping somebody else, or if they're a support class? But right now, Ganja is my only support class that will buff everybody's defense. I need a support class that also has, like, a fire spell or something. <laughs> Or like an AoE Ice spell. Starting to run out of mana on my dude. Two hundred and forty-five experience. So we cannot fall down the hole, so we have to go this way. might have to change Hexy to just have him attack. Because he's healing a little bit too much. Because our guys have plenty enough hit points to take some of these. All that experience. Random battles everywhere. Hey, we got some coins down here as well. 
Oh, dragon, undead. And take some of these guys out. Nice. Got a spiky dude. I think this is the first time seeing this uh, dead knight as well. Not getting lucky in getting any of these guys. Arr, clear the way! I'm grabbing the treasure first. <laughs> he just keeps following us and keeps getting hit. So that goes nowhere, so they fell down the hole again. So I'm guessing we will have to go down. But the spiky guy doesn't look too bad either. Wonder if he's a uh, slime as well. Ooh, looks like lava. Yep, it hurts. I guess since we are in a volcano and we keep going down, it makes sense. Oh, I need to heal Hexy before he dies. Huh. We can still mow through these guys pretty good. Alright, Hexy is 17. Lots more magic. May have to peek and see if there's like a secret in the lava somewhere. Ah, there's all the treasure. Gasp! Heck! I did it! The treasures are mine! All mine! I'm guessing... There's gonna be another four collapse. What? What is this? Ka <laughs> this means nincompoop. You put us through all this trouble? Saying how we need your help to find the treasure? That you wouldn't cooperate unless we became your sidekicks? Pah! For all that talk, you were useless. We'll take the loot for our king. You're not worthy of it anyway. Er, you tricked me. You're not getting away with this. Uh oh, he's stomping the ground. Pew! Nice. We got the treasure. I was stupid to trust and believe in those monsters. You take the loot back later. A voice echoed from nowhere. Well, hey! Terra, hear me? I felt an odd power stirring. You found a plug for the navel. I'll bring you back. Don't move. Alright, boys. Let's see if this plug works. With Great Log's power, we'll heal you. Alright, everybody full health. So, the new plug for the Log's navel. Well, hey! So this is it. This is... the Har Mirror. I can feel an odd power from it. Plop it in the hole and see what happens. Well, hey, that's it. Great log is saved. Good, now. Oh. Looks like we have an adventure somewhere else to do. Well, hey, no good, no good. I have to plug the navel again. Well, hey, that's no good. But Harmir does have magic in it. Give me your hand. So what does this unlock? You can now crush huge boulders. 
try it in front of a boulder or a tree that's in the way. Terra, you will go look again? I felt an odd power. It's cold. It's in ice. You know what I'm saying. I don't have the key. The ice key is what you want. Alright, let's save it here. Your progress has been recorded. Alright guys, that is it for me tonight. We have gone 4 hours and 17 minutes of progress in this game. Um, I thank you all if you're new to the channel. Um, thank you for watching. If you do enjoy uh, the content of the channel, go ahead and hit that uh, like button. Um, it'll notify you whenever, uh, whenever I do stream. I will be doing this one most weeknights around 10 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time usually. Uh, but thank you for joining me for these four hours. And hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.